Hi, I'm Andy Joles. Today we're going to talk about credit scores and retirements and how do you manage your credit score once you're in retirement. Well, let's jump into this. I'm going to assume that you're in the protect mode and you're no longer in the credit building mode. And so based on this, I've got a couple of things that I really want you to consider. One, and, and, and I'll step back for a second and say, whether you're watching this video for yourself or you're watching it for a loved one, these are things to really consider to make sure you're protecting credit once you're in the retirement age. So the first thing is I want you to watch out for piggybacking. So piggybacking is when somebody calls you and says, hey, since you're no longer using your credit, we want to be able to put somebody else on your credit file and help them build a credit account. Now, this feature was intended to be used by loved ones, parents helping their kids establish credit through authorized user credit cards, that sort of thing. And this has now become sort of a loophole for nefarious practices where people basically will contact you, pay you a small amount of money, small amount of money, and then they'll collect a larger amount of money from the person that they're putting on your file. And you just don't want to do this. This is this is not a good practice. It also you don't really know whether these companies are are legit at all in what they're saying that they're going to do. They may be conducting um, or participating in some sort of identity theft scheme. So it's a little um, it's a little spooky. I want you to stay away from that. So next thing is I really want you to consider a credit freeze. Now a credit freeze is not right for me personally because I'm still in the building credit mode. I still might apply for credit you know, this year. But if somebody's not going to apply for credit, a credit freeze is really great. And <clears throat> this is different than a 90-day fraud flag or a seven-year flag. Those things only actually make it harder for credit to actually be approved. And so they just provide more security and make it more difficult for, uh, for the credit to actually happen and get approved. In a credit freeze situation, credit cannot be granted until the freeze is removed. So it is the toughest layer of security from a credit perspective. The other thing I really want you to consider is to monitor your credit score. Sure, you can go to annualcreditreport.com and get your report for free, but it's getting, you know, that can be a little difficult to read through and, and you really want your score. Your score is going to be a nice barometer for what's happening to your credit file. And there are some great monitoring services that will just allow you to set it and forget it. And then you can get email alerts and cell phone alerts in case your score ever changes. And that will really allow you to have peace of mind and monitor this. So just a few things about retirement. And if you want to learn more about this topic, other topics, you know where to come, videocreditscore.com. You can also friend me up on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. See you soon. Remember, everyone's situation is different. Be sure to contact a financial advisor or a credit counseling professional before making important financial decisions. This video broadcast is for educational purposes and not a substitute for receiving personalized professional advice.